What's up YouTube, it's Key here and in this video I'm going to go over how to successfully dual PC stream setup on Call of Duty Warzone and make sure that you're getting 240 hertz instead of 60 hertz. This is the proper way to stream dual PC setup. This is actually something that I've struggled with a lot and I know that probably could help a lot of people. Um, I've watched tutorials out there. They kind of hint at you know what you're supposed to do. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you literally how I set up to stream Call of Duty Modern Warfare Warzone uh, with, with my uh, 27 inch 240 hertz monitor at 240 hertz frames whatever with Warzone being in the same setting uh, something that would happen would I be get I would get stuck at 60 hertz on this monitor um, and it, it was getting really really confusing so um, if you don't know me I'm a top 0.1% uh, player on Call of Duty Warzone if you want to follow me on Twitch and catch some nasty gameplay it'd be much appreciated but anyway let's get into this you're on your desktop this assumes that you have your Elgato connected uh, properly. My streaming PC is over there. My gaming PC is over here. You're gonna have a uh, you're gonna have your display adapter cord come from your gaming PC to your regular monitor that you want to use uh, your 240 hertz monitor, and then your Elgato HDMI is gonna be coming out of your gaming graphics card into your Elgato, and then plugged in via USB to the streaming PC. And so I'm gonna just run you through this. I open up Streamlabs OBS on my gaming PC, um, as well as on my streaming PC. You're also gonna wanna download Elgato's sound capture. Um, it's absolutely critical uh, just to make sure that the sound is communicating right uh, across both devices. Once you have both Streamlabs open on both PCs, I'm going to go ahead and open sound capture on both of them. I'm going to minimize this for a sec. This way the sound's going back and forth. So the biggest problem I was having was not being able to display the game properly and have the right hertz. So um, the way that I fixed it is I went into display settings. This might get a little awkward, but all right, so I hope that you guys can see this. These are my display settings. Um, I have displays one and two, and one of these one of these is Elgato. So I think number two is Elgato. As long as Elgato is detected, that's good. I have these displays set as multiple displays um, and extend these displays. So basically what my gaming PC is doing with my Elgato is extending my desktop outward you know, it extends my desktop outward through the Elgato. And then, um, I don't know if you guys can see it over here on my live scene. Let's see. So this, this screen right here on my streaming PC monitor is actually my gaming desktop extended through to Elgato, to Elgato. Um, so extend these displays, that's, that's what I have on these settings. Um, and then this is how I actually send the gameplay over to my live stream. Um, I open up Streamlabs OBS on my gaming PC. Um, I added a new scene uh, that's just nothing other than uh, display capture. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and run the game here so you guys can watch it uh, happen, but so you get this. This also works with OBS. So you're gonna add a display capture. Once you have display capture open, you're gonna go create output projector. You're gonna get this little dis display that shows your desktop. You're gonna go ahead and slide that projector over to your extended desktop, which will start to appear on your Streamlabs OBS for your streaming PC. You're gonna full screen that, so now we have both desktops on both um, PCs. And then you're just gonna minimize and go ahead and run Warzone. And then I will show you uh, my monitor settings so that I can have 240 hertz well in Warzone so I can see every single frame 
and obviously my stream can see it in 1080p the best that it can be. So Warzone is loading and if you guys are like me you know that Warzone loves to just keep changing up its settings and you have to rechange them so I'm going to go through those settings with you guys right now so you can see um, that that I have 240 hertz the best that I can do. So we're going to click in here. Alright so I might have got lucky in that my resolution is right but we're going to double check what these settings are for graphics. So for the graphic settings, I have mine on full screen, refresh rate 240 hertz, render resolution uh, 100, 1920 by 1080. The biggest problem that I was having, and you guys might be having this too, is if I didn't do the setup just like how I guys showed you, I would get my monitor to be running the Elgato's as its display so it'd be at 60 hertz and stuck at 60 hertz and i could not toggle it it was absolutely annoying it took me four hours to to fix but anyway that's going to be the video you guys um really really simple you're going to put sound capture on both pcs you're going to make sure that display is showing both elgato and your monitor you're going to make sure that the monitor is extended you're going to install streamlabs obs on both and on your gaming PC, you're gonna put an output projector of your display, of your desktop, uh, to the extended window, and that's gonna go over to your streaming PC for the stream to see. So if this helped you in any way, please like, comment, and share. I really appreciate you guys, and uh, I will catch you in the next one. Peace.